Europe in pre-war era due to Russia's threat, Poland's Prime Minister warns. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk has warned that Europe is in a pre-war era but still has a long way to go before it's ready to confront the threat posed by Russia. War is no longer a concept from the past. It is real, and it started over two years ago. The most worrying thing at the moment is that literally any scenario is possible. We haven't seen a situation like this since 1945, Tusk said in an interview with German newspaper Die Welt, published on Friday. I know it sounds devastating, especially for the younger generation, but we have to get used to the fact that a new era has begun, the pre-war era. I'm not exaggerating, it's becoming clearer every day. Last weekend, Poland said a Russian cruise missile aimed at Ukraine had entered its airspace, a repeat occurrence during more than two years of war, and demanded an explanation from Moscow. Despite Europe's efforts to bolster its defense, Tusk said the continent still has a long way to go. He said it must be independent and self-sufficient in defense while maintaining a strong alliance in the US. Polish President Andrzej Duda, also stated that Russia could soon restore its military potential and attack NATO countries as early as 2026. Federal Minister for Foreign Affairs Annalena Baerbock also says that Vladimir Putin is trying to drag NATO into a war, but Germany will not allow him. Putin's goal was and is to destroy the existence of Ukraine as an independent, free country and drag NATO into a war, Baerbock said, noting that the German government will not allow this to happen. The German foreign minister adds that the Kremlin leader is not open to arguments, calls for humanity and does not want to engage in negotiations. Russia knew about preparation for terrorist attack at least a month in advance. Ukraine. Russia knew about the preparation of a terrorist attack at the Crocus City Hall shopping center near Moscow for at least a month. But despite this, the Kremlin decided to allow the shooting of its citizens, according to the statement of the head of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov. At least as of February the 15th, 2024, Russia knew about the preparation. I'll tell you more. This information passed through the intelligence group in Syria. That's where it went to Moscow. It's strange how everything materialized, said Budanov. He clarified that the Russians knew where the combat groups would come from and through which countries they would move to Russia. According to Budanov, there are several versions of why the Kremlin allowed the terrorist attack. The first is, as they usually do, towers fighting in Kremlin to now remove several officials. Another option is that they actually underestimated the scale of what would happen. They thought it would be more localized and wanted to blame Ukraine for everything the head of the defense intelligence believes. He reminded that the Russian authorities have already changed the version of what happened near Moscow three times in attempts to blame Ukraine for everything. In particular, there was a version from the head of the Russian Federal Security Service, Alexander Botnikov, who blamed Budanov himself. It's nonsense. By the way, if we touch on this painful issue, even though he's an enemy, I don't approve of terrorist acts against civilians in principle, he added. As Budanov emphasized, Russia sowed chaos itself, hoping to control it. There is such a persistent expression, even truth, it always works among special services. Everyone tries to create controlled chaos. Quite all more or less serious organizations tried to do this at different times. And the axiom is that none of them could make it controlled. The same thing happened here, he noted. 